hello everyone happy to see you in this new video how to solve this nice exponential equation that is 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c is equal to 148 so here we will try to find the value of a b and c now how to solve this nice exponential equation now from here from the left hand side we will take 2 raised to power a common so taking 2 raised to power a common this will become 2 raised to power a here only one will be left plus and this will become 2 raised to power b divided by 2 raised to power a plus this term will become 2 raised to power c divided by 2 raised to power a is equal to 148 now what we will do next in the next step we will use here in these two terms an exponential math property so here we will use this one exponential math property in these two terms r s to power m by r s to power n can also be written as r s to power m minus n so using this exponential property here in these two terms this equation will become 2 raised to power a times 1 plus this will become 2 raised to power b minus a plus this will become 2 raised to power c minus a is equal to 148 now my dears look into the left hand side here is the product of two expressions here 2 raised to power a which is for any real number a this is an e1 expression and this is this is an e1 this is e1 and e1 plus odd is an odd expression so for that we will factorize this number to the product of in e1 times odd number so we will factorize 148 here so 148 is in e1 number which is divisible by 2 so 2 times 7 is 14 and 2 times 4 is 8 now this again in e1 number 2 times 3 is 6 one will become here it will become 14 2 times 7 is 14 and this is in prime number which cannot be simplified further so we can write 148 as here 2 is 2 times so this will become 2 raised to power 2 times 37 so in next step here we will replace 148 with these two numbers so this will become 2 raised to power a times 1 plus 2 raised to power b minus a plus 2 raised to power c minus a is equal to we will replace 148 with this prime factorization so this is 2 raised to power 2 times 37 now here we will compare this e1 expression with this e1 number and this part expression with this part number so from here we will get two equations the first equation is 2 raised to power a is equal to 2 raised to power 2 or 2 square or the second equation is this one 1 plus 2 raised to power b minus a plus 2 raised to power c minus a is equal to 37 now here first we will solve this one equation here the bases are same so we will compare the powers with each other so from here we will get the value of a which is equal to 2 so this is the value of the first variable that we need in this problem now we will solve this one equation for the values of b and c so here first we will move this one to the right hand side so this will become 37 minus 1 which is 36 and we can write these two terms as this can be written as 2 raised to power b times 2 raised to power minus a plus this can be written as 2 raised to power c times 2 raised to power minus a is equal to and here 37 minus 1 is 36 now further here these two expression are having negative power so we will move these two expressions to the denominator so their power will become positive so these two expressions in the left hand side will become 2 raised to power b divided by 2 raised to power a plus this will become 2 raised to power c divided by 2 raised to power a 
is equal to and here we can write 36 as 4 times 9 which is 36 now next here we will take the lcm of the left hand side so here this is same number in the denominator so this will become 2 raised to power a and we will add the numerators because the denominator is same so this will become 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c is equal to 4 times 9 now here we will substitute the value of a that is 2 which we find it here so this will become 2 raised to power 2 now 2 raised to power 2 is 4 so this, this equation will become 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c divided by it will become 4 is equal to 4 times 9 now here we will move this 4 to the right hand side so it will be multiplied with this number so this equation will become 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c is equal to here 4 times 4 is 4 square times 9 now next here from the left hand side we will take this to be common so this will become taking to be common here only one will be left and it will become 2c divided by 2b is equal to 4 square times 9 now again look at to this equation here for any real number b 2 raised to power b is an even number and here an even number plus an or one is an odd number so look it to the right hand side 2 4 raised to power 2 or 4 square is an even number and here 9 is an odd number so again we will compare and take equal even expression to the even number and odd expression to the odd number so again from here from this equation we will get two equations the first equation is 2b is equal to 4 square and the second equation is 1 plus 2 raised to power c divided by 2 raised to power b is equal to 9 now first we will solve this one, this one equation and from here we will find the value of b now this 2 raised to power b is and here we will change this power to its exponential form we can write for s 2 raised to power 2 all s to power 2 so this 2b will be the same and here we will multiply these two powers so this will become 2 raised to power 2 times 2 is 4 and here the bases are same so again we will compare the powers so the powers are b is equal to 4 so from here we get the value of b the second variable now here we will solve this one equation for the value of c so here we will move this one to the right hand side and here we will substitute the value of b so this equation will become 2 raised to power c divided by putting the value of b here so this will become 2 raised to power the value of b is 4 is equal to and here it will become 9 minus 1 is 8 and next we will move this number to the right hand side so this will become 2 raised to power c is equal to here we can write this 8 as 2 raised to power 3 times this one number 2 raised to power 4 here the bases are same so we will add their power so this will become 2c is equal to here the base will be the same and we will add the power so 3 plus 4 is 7 so this will become 2 raised to power 7 now again the bases are same so again we will compare the powers and from here we will get the value of the third variable that is c is equal to 7 so this is the value of the third variable c is equal to 7 so finally we got the values of a b and c which are the value of a is 2 and the value of b is 4 and the value of c is 7 so finally this is our solution that we need in this problem then we will try to verify that these values of a b and c are correct or not so we will verify these values here now to verify these values here we will write the problem and we will check out these values now the problem is 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c is equal to 148 
Now here we will replace these variables with its values. So the value of a is 2. So this will become 2 raised to power 2 plus the value of b is 4 plus the value of c is 7 is equal to 140a. Now 2 raised to power 2 is 4 plus 2 raised to power 4 is above 16 plus and 2 raised to power 7 is 148 is equal to 148 now here power plus 16 is 20 plus 128 is equal to 148 the 128 plus 20 is 148 148 is equal to 148 now since both sides are equal so it means that a is equal to 2 b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 7 are the exact and correct values of a b c in this nice algebraic and exponential problem